corrosive products and substances. The sale of certain types of acids is governed by the Poisons Act 1972, designed to control chemicals that can be used to cause harm, while still allowing those with a legitimate need for the chemicals to continue their activities. There was no specific offence of carrying out an acid attack, and people who committed such acts were liable for a more general criminal offence, such as wounding or causing grievous bodily harm with intent, unlawful wounding, inflicting grievous bodily harm, or sending, throwing or using explosive or corrosive substances or noxious things with intent to do grievous bodily harm. Possession of acid in a public place with intent to use it to cause harm could also have been prosecuted as possession of an offensive weapon under Section 1 of the Prevention of Crime Act 1953. Now, the Offensive Weapons Act 2019 brings new legislation specifically related to the sale and delivery of corrosive products, as well as the possession of corrosive substances in a public place. We will start with the sale of corrosive products to persons under 18. The legislation provides a list of corrosive products. It also covers products that contain a substance listed in the schedule in a concentration higher than the limit set out for that substance but the definition does not include a substance or product which is contained in a battery. The offence itself is to sell a corrosive product to a person who is under the age of 18. You can find this in section 1. And it's a defence to prove that they took all reasonable precautions and exercised all due diligence to avoid the commission of the offence. For example, checking age against accepted and recognised identification documents. This defence is similar to the one available in relation to the sale of knives and certain articles with a blade or point under section 141A of the Criminal Justice Act 1988. When it comes to the sale of corrosive products to persons under 18, if the seller is charged with this offence under section 1 and the seller was not in the presence of the buyer at the time of the sale, then section 2 provides a defence to remote sale of corrosive products to persons under 18. A person is not in the presence of another person at any time if A, whether an individual or not, or a person acting on behalf of A, is not in the presence of B at that time. A remote sale is a sale conducted at a distance and includes, for example, when the sale was made online or over the telephone. The seller is regarded as not having proved they took all reasonable precautions and due diligence unless the following four conditions are met as a minimum. A. At the time the offence is alleged to have been committed, the seller operated a system for checking that persons who bought corrosive products by the same or a similar method of purchase to that used by the buyer were not under the age of 18 and that system was likely to prevent persons under the age of 18 from buying corrosive products by that method. B. When the package containing the corrosive product was dispatched by the seller, it was clearly marked to indicate that it contained a corrosive product and that when finally delivered, it should only be delivered into the hands of a person aged 18 or over. C. The seller took all reasonable precautions and exercised all due diligence to ensure that when finally delivered, the package would be delivered into the hands of a person aged 18 or over. And D. The seller did not deliver the package or arrange for its delivery to a locker. Now, locker means a lockable container to which the package was delivered with a view to its collection by the buyer or a person acting on behalf of the buyer in accordance with arrangements made between the seller and the buyer. Section 4 of the Act also relates to persons under 18, where it is an offence if, when they deliver the corrosive product, they do not deliver it into the hands of a person aged 18 or over. So it's the person that delivers the corrosive product in accordance with the arrangement that commits the offence, i.e. the delivery company. Though it is a defence to prove that they took all reasonable precautions and exercised all due diligence to avoid the commission of the offence. The offence of delivery of corrosive products to persons under 18 applies if the following conditions are met. A. The seller sells a corrosive product to the buyer. B. The seller and the buyer are not in each other's presence at the time of the sale and the seller is outside the United Kingdom at the time. 
The Act does go on to tell us that a person, other than an individual, is outside the United Kingdom at any time if the person does not carry on a business of selling articles of any kind from premises in any part of the United Kingdom at that time. So this clause applies to delivery companies that have entered into an arrangement with a seller of corrosive products who is outside of the UK to deliver the products to buyers inside the UK. C. Before the sale, the seller entered into an arrangement with a person who is a body corporate by which the person agreed to deliver corrosive products for the seller. D. That person was aware when they entered into the arrangement that it covered the delivery of corrosive products. And E. That person delivers the corrosive product pursuant to that arrangement. So this makes it clear that the section will only apply if the delivery company is aware that they may be delivering corrosive products on behalf of the seller. Moving on from offences relating to under 18s, we have the Section 3 offence of the delivery of corrosive products to residential premises. In this case, the seller commits an offence if, for the purposes of supplying the corrosive product to the buyer, the seller delivers the product or arranges for its delivery to residential premises. This section applies if the seller and buyer are not in each other's presence at the time of the sale. A residential premises is a premises used solely for residential purposes, so it does not include where a person carries on a business from the premises. For example, a plumber who operates a business from her home would not meet the definition of residential premises. It is a defence to prove that they took all reasonable precautions and exercised all due diligence to avoid the commission of the offence. To have a corrosive substance with them in a public place is an offence under Section 6 of the Act. Up until this point, we've been talking about corrosive products. But note that we are now talking about corrosive substances. A corrosive substance in this section is a substance which is capable of burning human skin by corrosion. So this is a much broader definition and we're not restricted to the list provided in the Act schedule. A public place includes any place to which, at the time in question, the public have or are permitted access, whether on payment or otherwise. There is a defence in this case to prove they had good reason or lawful authority for having the corrosive substance with them in a public place, or that they had the corrosive substance with them for use at work. The Offensive Weapons Act 2019 also amends the power of constables to stop and search persons, vehicles, etc. in Section 1 of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act 1984. This applies to any substance in relation to which a person has committed or is committing or is going to commit the offence of having a corrosive substance in a public place. So if someone is about to commit is committing or is going to commit the offence of having a corrosive substance in a public place, and that's any substance which is capable of burning human skin by corrosion, and also includes in this section an article which contains such a substance, a constable may search any person or vehicle, anything which is in or on a vehicle, for any substance to which this applies, and may detain a person or vehicle for the purpose of such a search. This section does not give a constable power to search a person or vehicle or anything in or on a vehicle unless he has reasonable grounds for suspecting that he will find any substance to which this applies. And, if in the course of such a search a constable discovers an article which he has reasonable grounds for suspecting to be a substance to which this applies, he may seize it. In summary, the schedule of this Act provides a list of corrosive products and the maximum concentrations for products that contain a product listed. This does not include a substance or product which is contained in a battery. Corrosive substance, however, refers to a substance which is capable of burning human skin by corrosion. So make sure you notice whether an offence is referring to a corrosive product or a corrosive substance. We have two under 18 offences, the sale of corrosive products to persons under 18 and delivery of corrosive products to persons under 18. In both cases, it is a defence to prove that they took all reasonable precautions and exercised all due diligence to avoid the commission of the offence. The defence to the remote sale of corrosive products to persons under 18 requires that four conditions are met as a minimum. 
and delivery of corrosive products to persons under 18 applies to delivery companies that have entered into an arrangement with a seller of corrosive products who is outside of the United Kingdom to deliver the products to buyers within the United Kingdom. The offence of delivery of corrosive products to residential premises is committed if, for the purposes of supplying the corrosive product to the buyer, the seller delivers the product or arranges for its delivery to residential premises. A residential premises is one used solely for residential purposes. And again, it's a defence to prove that they took all reasonable precautions and exercised all due diligence to avoid the commission of the offence. The offence of having a corrosive substance with them in a public place can take place in any place to which, at the time in question, the public have or are permitted access, whether on payment or otherwise. There is a defence to prove that they had good reason or lawful authority for having the corrosive substance with them in a public place, or that they had the corrosive substance with them for use at work. Notice that this is an offence involving a corrosive substance, not a corrosive product. And finally, if someone is about to commit, is committing, or is going to commit the offence of having a corrosive substance in a public place, a constable may search any person or vehicle or anything which is in or on a vehicle for any substance to which this applies and may detain a person or vehicle for the purpose of such a search. He must have reasonable grounds for suspecting that he will find any substance and if found, he may seize it. This also applies to an article which contains such a substance. You can also find legislation regarding corrosives in the Offences Against the Person Act 1861 and the Poisons Act 1972. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel below for the latest study tips and videos each week.